All right, hello everybody. I am going to uh, be setting up my bag here for hole number six. As you can see, I don't know if you are watching, but uh, I am going to pull out a globe for you guys. Even though I'm not uh, qualifying here. And uh, I, I do believe that's the approach for this hole. Um, you know, 15 miles per hour seems to be the number. So unless you get a mega wind where you could switch to Berserker at 15, um, going for this hook shot, um, just judging off of my shot yesterday, I think you want to be right around that 15 number just to be on the safe side. So, you know, Globe assures 16, 15 miles per hour. In fact, that's almost what I'm looking at. So it looks like I actually got a really crappy wind here, which is going to... Uh, See, laying up way to the left, highly unusual. This is a very unusual approach that I'm not too familiar with. Guy has plenty of games, he should know. Well, maybe he doesn't have a lot in uh, Tour 11. It's highly unusual to uh, lay up over there. But uh, as you can see, we did draw, unfortunately, an unlucky wind. Um, I really wanted to kind of put together something for you guys, but uh, probably needed about 17 miles per hour for that to happen. I have a have a hunch, and I do believe at best case scenario I'm looking at about 16. So let's see what I get. 15.7. The one thing that we do know is it's enough. I mean, it's technically enough wind. Um, I'm going to do it about two right spin. Now, one thing that I do want to note is I usually use, you know, three full targets uh, for my aim. But notice I'm going to use more because I'm so downwind, and that's what I did yesterday. Um, I knew, so there's about three targets. I'm going to go at least an extra half target. So about 35, 3.5 full targets is what I usually go when we're talking super mega downwind. And let's see what this looks like. Just got to the fairway, and like I said, you know, wow. That's highly unusual that uh, the ball kind of reacted that way to shoot over that far. So it looks like, you know, even where I just went probably wasn't enough targets because I wasn't really trying to do that. I was trying to cut the corner a little bit more. But you could see, even with that 15.7, that that shot was very, very close. So you do see that you need a little bit more wind. And, you know, the, what I just went for my adjustment was probably the minimum amount of targets that you would need to go to actually execute that shot. But as you can see, it can be a little bit of a gamble just being as you don't know that for sure you're going to land on the fairway you could hit the rough and completely take yourself out of this hole so use this hole cautiously when you're doing this and be a little bit more on the careful side now the one good news uh, especially about the way that i spun it so as opposed to what i did yesterday i kind of was a little bit more aggressive with my aim but wound up way out in the center of the fairway. And you can see, as far as this pitch goes, ooh, I'm right on Min, so that's good. But uh, Min has a little bit more carry than usual, but should play very similarly to Min. So, you know, I'd usually go about six rings, and that's more or less what I'm going to do. I'll probably do seven here. Um, let me adjust that just a hair. Let's go a little bit extra wind. Perfect ball. Just outside. So you're going to see, you know, this is going to be the one where you want to get the albatross. You know, I'm going to be within a cup every time. So you can assume that 
there's going to be quite a few guys that are also going to be within a cup every time. So it's going to be very makeable. This is the hole that you want to take advantage of. At the same time, you got to be somewhat careful with the way you do things because you don't want to take a birdie here. On a hole where guys are getting the albatross, you definitely don't want birdie. That's a two-shot swing. So you can see where, you know, that little minor correction that I actually did to the wind was actually the difference between making and missing that. I thought it was kind of looking just a little bit to the right edge. So I actually, right before I went for my adjustment, I moved it ever so gently to the left. And uh, that was enough to, uh, you know, that's virtually right where I missed that shot. So I should have just stayed true to the way that I originally had it. And I probably would have had that albatross. But like I said, you know, it's going to be very easy for you guys to give this hole a run. At the very worst, um, even if you were where I was yesterday, I think I was in the rough. I can't remember if I perfect balled. Um, I don't remember. But uh, even from the rough there, it's going to be highly makeable. So there's no real risk on that shot. As long as you hit the first bounce on the fairway, you give yourself an albatross chance. But as you can see, you know, the more you keep it in the middle of that fairway towards that bunker, uh, the wind is very straight there. It's going to give you the absolute best chance to make it. You will see quite a few albatrosses. There's going to be nothing suspicious about albatrossing that hole. It's going to be the other ones that are going to look highly suspicious. So if you see anybody with a scorecard of 3 or 9 getting an albatross, uh, you know, in Masters Division, I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, I'm at least going to have Playdemic review that shot but that's going to be the one where um you know it's going to be pretty much almost par for the course you're going to see all the guys that are up there towards the top of the leaderboard um are going to at least probably have that whole one out of two times um because that's basically you know going to make or break your rounds so making that is going to put you at that 13 14 under possibility number whereas not making it is going to you know kind of keep you down away from that so uh, good luck with that hole uh, hopefully you find my two shots somewhere in between there is what you want to do um, but at the same time if you're in either of the places that i was um, i'm assuming that uh you know, you have more than enough to get the job done from either of those places. So good luck. I'll see you guys for hole number seven.